What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at some cases from UAG for the iPhone 14 and these cases are designed to help you protect your phone from any type of life mishap. So we have the Pathfinder, we have the Metropolis, we have the Monarch and Carbon Fiber, Crowd Pleaser Plasma, as well as the Civilian. So let's get into it, check them out together and see what they're all about. Right off the bat guys, UAG cases are one of the most I'd say stylish cases in my opinion. I've always liked the design of UAG cases and I always like the fact that prices always change. So check my link down below for the most up-to-date and relevant pricing. But let's just go ahead and start with the civilian case. And this is gonna be, as they call it, discrete protection, but you're still getting 20 foot of drop protection from the civilian case. And on the back here, impact resistant bumpers, shock absorbing soft core, feather light armor shell. And that's all the information that we need from UAG about this case. And this civilian case, once again, has a nice, nice two-tone design, which I actually quite like. So if you like that little accent color, you can go ahead and see that accent color on your phone. And on the inside, you get a nice pattern here for shock absorption -ness. It's a rigid type of case, so it's not a super, super flexible case. On the back, it says Urban Armor Gear. Nice little modern way of saying Urban Armor Gear. A little indentation to help with the grip, as well as just give you a little bit of a different design. So let's just go ahead and install it. Now I do have a tempered glass screen protector, so we're gonna see how well it's gonna play with tempered glass screen protectors. And so far it's doing a really nice job as I give you the 360 bird's eye tour. I think you're getting a nice amount of front lip protection there. And again, I just like the, the color choice. I just like the two-tone color choice for the civilian case. I think it looks really, really nice. And of course, protection is what it's all about. So you're getting a nice front lip protection if you lay your phone face first. And the same goes for that back camera protection. Well, you can't see your cameras because they are inside of the camera protection there. So a nice amount of camera protection. Buttons feel really nice. No problems with those buttons. Power button has a little design, design logo on that power button. And again, the back just looks really nice, but the front definitely looks super, super awesome with that two-tone color. I think this is a nice looking case. Now let's just kind of check out MagSafe compatibility. Not working with MagSafe, not super, super surprised, but let's see if wireless charging works. Wireless charging works with the civilian case. Taking a look at the snugness on this case, super snug. No problems with the snugness of the civilian case. So definitely a nice design case. Next one we're gonna take a look at, it's been a crowd pleaser. It's definitely been one of my favorite and that's the clear plasma case. Taking a look at the back, armor shell, soft core resistant core. Once again, feather light composite construction. And this one, you're only getting 16 feet of drop protection. Taking a look at the plasma case on the inside, you do get a little bit of a, an air channel, I'm gonna call it. So that's gonna help with the shock absorption, just having a little bit of, little bit of air channelness. But you also do get some, some reinforced bumpers on the plasma. So no problems with those corners. And of course, the classic UAG design that put them on the map many, many years ago is still here. This is their classic case. Now taking a look at the front lip protection, Definitely a little bit more front lip protection than the civilian in my opinion. As I give you this 360 bird's eye tour, you can see the front lip protection there is just a little bit more protective. So again, this is a, even though it has a four foot of less certified drop protection, I think you're still getting a nice amount of front lip protection. Maybe for those of you that always put your phone face first, this will be a nice option for you. Now on the sides as well, you do have this I don't know if you can hear that. You can see these, I'm gonna call them ridges. Definitely feels, feels grippable in the hand. And of course the back, the back is what it's all about with this plasma case. I think this is just an awesome, awesome looking design. That's why it's been around for quite some time. And there's your camera protection as I show you that. So you're getting a nice amount of camera protection. Super, super nice case, the plasma once again. Buttons feel really nice. No problems with these buttons. And if we check out MagSafe, Probably not gonna work, but wireless charging should work. So let's just check out wireless charging. Wireless charging works, no problems at all. Checking out the snug fit, snug fit test. Super, super snug. No problems with the snug test. Taking a look at the four corners, you can see they're, they're just beefed up a little bit. You can see this nice beefiness to them. You can see that they really do a nice job of giving you a little bit extra, little bit extra corner protection if you happen to drop your phone on the corners. So overall, I think the plasma is a nice looking case. Let me know what you think about the plasma versus the civilian so far. Next case we're gonna take a look at, guys, is kind of in between the civilian and the plasma with 18 feet of drop protection. 
This is their Pathfinder series, although they probably should have called, called this the Stormtrooper series. I think this is an awesome, awesome design. A little bit more, a little bit more flexible than the other two cases. On the inside, this is your MagSafe ring, so this should work very nicely with MagSafe capability. And on the inside as well, you can see it is kind of like a hybrid between the civilian and between the plasma. So again, Stormtrooper edition, looking really nice with a little UAG logo right on the inside there. And of course, the back is what it's all about. So let's just go ahead and, and take out the plasma case. Installation is very simple. And again, a very nice amount of front lip protection here. 18 foot of drop certified NIST from UAG. 360 bird's eye tour is gonna show you that. Definitely a nice amount of front lip protection. Cutouts are all perfect. You get those same ridges from the plasma on the side for that grip abilityness. And taking a look at the back, Stormtroopers here. This just looks super, super awesome. Really a nice looking case, but it's definitely about that camera protection as well. So you are protecting the camera. You can see your camera protection there. Nice amount of camera protection. Buttons, of course, no problems with these buttons. Checking out the snug test. All four corners are super snug, so no problems about that at all. Really, really a nice looking case, and MagSafe should work without any problems. So this is the one UAG case so far that has MagSafe capabilities. Let me know what you think about this. Now, of course, they all come in different colors, guys, so check my link down below if you like this case, but you want a different color. And there are the screws that are kind of iconic from UAG as well. Really a nice job when it comes to this Pathfinder case. The next Pathfinder series case that we're going to take a look at is the Camo Edition. And who doesn't like a nice Camo Edition anything? 18 foot of drop protection, pretty much the same on the back. Soft impact, resistant core, all of that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the Camo Edition of the Pathfinder series. And once again, I like a nice Camo case. I think this is a very, very nice looking case. A little bit on the, on the less rigid side compared to the Plasma series and whatnot, but it's still a very protective case thanks to that 18 foot of drop protection. Now let's put in my iPhone here, let's see if you can even see it. And there's the front lip protection, which you definitely can see. So you can tell that on the front of this case, you're getting a nice amount of front lip protection. So if you lay your phone flat, once again, no problems protecting that screen. And thankfully, screen protector friendly is the name of the game when it comes to all of these UAG series cases. On the back though, here's your camera protection. So you can see the back there for your camera protection. And you can see on all the four corners as well, you get a little bit of extra reinforcement. So if it does drop on the corner, hopefully your phone does bounce right back. All of your cutouts, of course, are perfect. Buttons, no problems with these buttons. Getting to the alert slider. If you have nails, it'll be a little bit easier on all of these cases. But overall, I think UAG designed a nice case. And there are those ridges on the side for the grip ability. So this is the Pathfinder UAG Camo Edition. Really a toss-up between this and the Stormtrooper, in my opinion. I might just have to keep both of them. Now, MagSafe capability is not going to work, obviously, with this case. But you will be able to get wireless charging. So wireless charging is going to work without any problem. As I move this in the light, you can see that camo just kind of shimmering and moving along with the light as well. Blending in, camoing in as camo does. So super, super nice case. I'm really feeling this camo edition. The next case we're gonna take a look at from UAG is a little bit on the slimmer side, 12 foot of drop protection, and it's called Essential Armor. So it's slim protection for your new iPhone 14 Pro here. And if we take a look at it, definitely a more flexible, flexible case. So I'm not gonna call it on the chintzy side, but if you want a thin-ish type of case, a little less bulk, this is probably the way to go. I like the design though on the back, kind of a little, little bit different. And just taking a look at the front lip protection, all of these UAG cases have a nice amount of front lip protection. And on this series though, you can see it's just a little bit more raised on the corners. Let me bring it a little bit closer for you so you can see it. You can see the corners are just a little bit more, a little bit more protected on this, on this series case, on this essential armor. And the front lip protection is definitely on point. All of those corners are reinforced, so you're getting that nice corner protection from UAG. Cutouts, of course, are all perfect as you'd expect. On the back, there's your MagSafe ring. There's your UAG logo. Camera protection. You get a nice amount of camera protection, no doubt about that. Buttons feel really nice, no problems with these buttons. A little easier to get to the slider. Again, if you have nails, which I do not, it's gonna be very easy for you guys. But overall, I think this is a nice case. If you're looking for a little bit of a thinner, slimmer type of feeling case in hand, definitely check out the Essential Armor. 
It's one of their thinnest cases that I've tested so far. And the fact that we do have MagSafe capability with wireless charging as well just means that this could be higher on the list than say a Pathfinder camo that you might not be able to see. So I like this Essential Series. Let me know what you think about the Essential Series down in the comments below. Super cool looking case in my opinion. And of course those raised corners really give me peace of mind. I like seeing those, those extra little bits of protection on those corners. No problems whatsoever guys. Screen protector friendly as well. The next case we're going to take a look at has 16 foot of drop protection. This is the Metropolis case with Kevlar. So this is a nice case for those of you that want to that want a kind of a folio type of case. And the Kevlar just looks really cool. I think they did a nice job with this design. Feels kind of coarse. Nice feel in the hand. And it's on the back here. Little urban armor gear spelt out there nicely. Military 810G 51616. And on the inside, some slots for, for a couple cards. This case is really super, super flexible. This is more, again, like a folio case. So it's going to be a little bit different than these, than these polycarbonate cases here. But you're still going to get a nice amount of drop protection. And of course, for those of you that, that don't really want to put a screen protector, or for those of you that like folio cases, this is a case that I would recommend. This is just a nice case. Now, there isn't a magnet, so this is going to open up. It's not going to stay shut. Just want to show you that there, but you can also prop it up, which is a huge benefit. You can, can watch your favorite Jabbertech YouTube videos on the go. You have a little cutout there for, for your speaker. And when you do accept the phone call, whether you accept it from your watch or you accept it and then close the flap, you can still have a conversation thanks to that cutout. So you'll still be able to hear the person. And I like these folio cases. It kind of feels like a fabric to me. It says Kevlar, but the feel in hand is kind of like a coarse, coarse type of fabric. At least that's what I'm feeling at the moment. On the back, Urban Armor gear spelt out in a super modern way. Camera protection, a little bit less I'd say than the other cases, but still a, still a decent amount. So laying your phone with the camera face down is not going to cause any harm. But of course, the number one thing about this case is that you are protecting the front with this flap. So this is the flap. You can also put in two cards if you have two credit cards or an ID and a credit card. Just go ahead and plop them in. So I quite like this. I actually like a folio case from time to time, I'm not going to lie. Nice way to give you that most 360 protectiveness for any type of phone is of course with a, with a flap on the front. It doesn't really rock that much either. So I'm, I'm thinking this is a nice design. I like this Metropolis case. Let's just kind of check out wireless charging and MagSafe. MagSafe is not working. But wireless charging is. So I'll take wireless charging over MagSafe to have a flap on the front. Let me know what you think about the Metropolis, but now it's time guys for the top dog. And of course, when I say top dog in UAG, it's all about the Monarch series. This is the carbon fiber edition, 25 foot of drop protection. They also have a Kevlar edition. They got a whole bunch of different editions, but I wanted this one because I like the carbon fiberness around the ring of MagSafe abilityness. I think this looks really, really nice. And you see those fake screws, iconic UAG design, little raised, raised bumper there to protect the case from getting all scratched up. On the inside, honeycomb material for a little shock absorption this. And of course, on all the four corners, you're getting a little bit of, little bit of air cushion technology. So let's just go ahead and, and take a look. Taking a look at the front lip protection as they give you the 360 bird's eye tour, you're getting a nice amount of front lip protection on the Monarch series. And that honeycomb pattern is on the sides as well. So that's definitely gonna help, help keep this phone in your hand but it is not a slippery case whatsoever. And on the back, camera protection, definitely a nice amount of camera protection. Your camera's sitting inside, so no problems with that. Little channel here, little aerodynamicness, but of course, it's all about the back of this case. And the carbon fiber just adds a nice flare, especially with the Space Black iPhone 14 Pro. You have your fake screws and you also have a little bit of protection on all those four corners. So when you lay your phone flat on the table, this is not going to scratch up the beautiful design of the back here. So I like the fact that the case is protecting itself and protecting your phone as well. And just the overall design, a new design, I think they did a nice job once again. Here's some little indentations, just kind of looks space-ish, looks space-like for the space black iPhone. UAG, you done all right. You did a good job with this Monarch series. I probably I'm going to go back and pick up the Kevlar because this is just a hot looking case. And of course MagSafe makes this look like a spaceship about to take off. 
Wireless charging is working without any problems as well. I'm really feeling this one. Of course, it's the Monarch Top Dog and they put all their attention on this case. It definitely shows with this edition. This has been a look at some brand new UAG cases for your iPhone 14 Pro. Let me know which one you think is the best down in the comments below. Which one are you going to pick up? I really like the Top Dog Monarch Series Pro, even though it is a little bit of a tank in the hands. It's definitely a nice design, a nice, a nice looking case in my opinion. Definitely more on the UAG style of things, but you can't go wrong with camo. You can't go wrong with the Essential. Definitely not the Plasma or even the Stormtrooper. If you're all about that folio life, Metropolis has you covered. Say hello to Clark Kent for me. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video. No problems with the snug test.